Alright, Cesar with Channel Mortgage Partners and our focus this week is on rates. Aside from providing programs and seeing the options that are out there, I wanted to really focus on rates. What really happened this past week, because we are we have been at all time lows, but this week things started to trickle up. What really happened was a job report came out and the numbers were excellent. So when we look at you know the predictions the last couple of um, quarters, we can see based off this chart where Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac seem to be going or heading. And it's pretty close. I can't honestly say that things aren't that much different than what they predicted. I say, if anything, it might be off by you know a quarter. But here we can see from uh, third quarter right now, they predict 3.3. We're probably at 3%. They predicted for a quarter four. We're not too far from a 3.4%. We'll see if we get there. And in quarter one of 2022 and quarter uh, two of 2022, they're predicting about 3.5, 3.6. That could be a big difference for most families. And especially if you're trying to save some money. So we'll take a look at that. And we're also going to take a look at a different projection and see if it makes sense to make a move right now. All right, Caesar with Channel Mortgage Partners. And this, this chart, I wanted to show what Freddie Mac had as far as their projections. So you can see from 2016 to 2022, you see in 2021 that their projections were pretty low. And we've had those six month lows. As we're heading into the new year and especially the fourth quarter, you're going to start seeing things trickle up based off the projections. And as you see the economy open up, and the economy getting strong, especially that job report. And as I mentioned before, the direct correlation between bad news and the bond market, right? The bond market doesn't like it. That's direct, directly correlated with interest rates, mortgage interest rates. And that's why we start seeing rates trickle up. Now today, Friday, we saw things get a little bit better, but all in all, if you're looking to take advantage of today's low interest rates, this would be the time to do so. All right, Caesar, we're chatting mortgage partners again. And I'm gonna show an example here based off some numbers, right? We can see based off a purchase price of 750,000 where we were at in 2021 in January. So if you would have bought a home at 750 and your rate was a 2.8% interest rate, you can see that your payment would be at the 3,082, right? Pins one interest, about uh, pins one interest. And then you'll see the annual projections as far as appreciation on the right. And then if you look at January, 2022, what the projections look like, you'll see that a, a loan amount would be, if values are where they're going, you see, Purchase of 840750 because the values went up. And then you'll see an interest rate 3.4, and you see a payment of 3729 So that's that's about $600 difference as far as, you know, going up if you don't make a move now. And then we see January 2023. Now the values have gone up even more. And now we're at a purchase price of 885000 an interest rate of 3.5%. And now your payment's 41.25. So you can see things going up. And as I mentioned before, if rates continue to trickle up and the economy only gets stronger, it's only going to get worse if you're waiting on the fence. So let me know if you guys have any questions, any scenarios. I could give you guys a personalized mortgage report, see if it makes sense to make a move now based off your current financial situation. As always, share, like, and comment. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much.